I, you know, that's the only thing about winter that bugs me, man. I mean, right now in Denver, it's like 40 degrees outside, no, snow on the ground, you. man. It makes a guy depressed. Hey, um, speaking of things that are not depressing. However. Oh, go ahead. However. Speaking of things that are not depressing, last Friday night. Yeah. In the afternoon, while it was still light outside. Yeah. I took off, and I headed from Denver through Boulder. Yeah. To Lyons, Colorado, and I made a turn, or left-hand turn, and I went up the St. Green Canyon all the way to Estes Park in the snow. Really? And I want to talk to you about some of the most beautiful sights you have ever seen in your life. You, uh, this is on a scooter? Negative. This is in my van. I'm going out there for a special event, which I'll tell you folks about probably next week. Yeah. But it's just because of the constraints of time. But I'm telling you, it was so beautiful. Yeah. The snow was coming down. There was two, three inches of snow on the leaves. Oh, that is pretty. On the branches of the trees. And I saw the biggest, most gorgeous bull elk. Oh, they're up there, man. Across the roadway, about 30 yards in front of me, just ambling. I'm, oh. They are up there. So, there. so yes, we don't have the riding weather that yeah, we would like but, to have, but, but there is a trade-off. We do get that. There is that a trade-off. We do get that white Christmas You're not going to see you know. that anywhere else in the, in, in the lower 48, I swear to that God. That is true. Speaking of not seeing stuff anywhere else, we are now carried on Ustream. So for you folks who are watching from Ustream, don't forget, it's www.kickstarttv.com is where the main website for the show is you got to join the garage upload your pictures you upload your pictures they'll be on the show talk to chopper ross about it he put them up less than 24 hours later we're featuring his bike on kickstart tv that doesn't happen anywhere else that let me tell you for content <laughs> that's it that's just we're just we ain't got shit to show tonight at all. that isn't true we got lots to show you ladies we got, we got in fact we're gonna have to cut back tonight because it's already 10 minutes left in the show oh my god and we got more damn content that we can oh we my god uh, let's, uh, now, we had a question here. We're going to have a new video next week. Yeah, Big Daddy Crash says, thanks for the answers. That sucks. My tranny doesn't have a speedo drive. Should have done my research before I got it, I suppose. Uh, yeah. You got a five-speed transmission no, in there? No, he's got, got a four-speed. Four? He's got a four-speed. Should speed, be a man. transmission drive in there. Oh, you mean like a mechanical, uh, not, yeah. the, not the little sensor one no, you can fu- in there? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> f- yeah. no, they're a little mechanical <laughs> deal. <laughs> Thing goes right down in there. I <laughs> got a collar on <laughs> Yeah. That's right. They did have a up the frame, <laughs> put yep. it through the middle, and you're in business, brother. And there you go. Either that, or there is always a possibility why you're bothering with a speedometer in the first place. Because uh, you want to know how fast you are when that cop is standing right I on your I don't have no speedometer in Captain America. Well, I know, but yeah, there's, yeah. All right. Yeah. End of story. Yeah. Yeah. How was that for a comment? They are available. Yeah. Have a look at your tranny and see if there isn't a mechanical drive, yeah. and there should be a port on top of yeah. it towards the And front. Fat Bob's right with you. He says, uh, what do you need a Speedo for? Andy Evil says, great, Hubless. Sounds cool. we got to, we got to get Andy Evil out there to Sturgis next year, and we do the big party at Sturgis. We'll get, we get the whole crew out there. I, mean, I think everybody needs to come out to Sturgis, and we'll go to Hill City, and we'll do this thing live. And oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Do we have to do the Hill City? Uh, yeah, no, no. Well, we'll we'll stay in Hill City, man. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to come to Hill City with the Kickstart crew, bring, bring, bring a trailer. Bring an and I don't mean on. the trailer to haul your motorcycle on. I mean haul a camp trailer on the back of it because you're going to be running for cover at some point. At during some the point. Hey, um, one of the things I one of the things I did want to mention before we before we start on with the uh, with these other this other set of pictures is I do want to mention that uh, we're going to be starting to be carried on Biker FM. Why don't you go ahead and can you pull up the website there and just show this to the folks? Well, we're spreading out. We got you, oh, you stream and all this stuff. Go to www.bikerfm.com. Um, if you haven't seen this, it's a it's a uh, it's a sort of radio station that that does uh, live video and they do all kinds of wacky stuff. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Something. What a radio station, station with, with, live, with video? live video? I know it's it's That's- all. TV. That's TV. Well, it's kind of like TV, but they call it FM. It's still trying to load there. <laughs> I call this whole deal FM. We've uh, freaking magic. Use attack and have a bro mark your speeds. You know that's not a bad idea, man. You could run attack and just just figure out at what RPM, you know, and what gear you're going, and just have somebody go. Yeah, you're going yeah, 55. Well, yeah, but what gear? How many? How many are you going to have? Five or six different sets of marks on the tack. Well, in first gear at this RPM, you're not so going this and fast. You know, uh, come on. Yeah, you could actually do that. Uh, well, we're working on Biker FM. Let's go ahead and put these pictures up. It's uh, grinding away, not happening. Okay, we'll get we'll get it up and running to show you guys. But Biker FM is going to be a cool deal that we're working on. Speaking of cool deals, I had the question 
the other day, Warren, do you have a motorcycle? I guess I said something incredibly stupid, and and the and the question was, do you have a motorcycle? I'm going to show you. We're going to take a little tour of the bikes of Warren Fuller. This is not all of them. This is some of them. This is my daily rider here that, that ends up out in front of the, uh, the palatial studios of Kickstart TV more often than not. This is a 1999-2000-2001-2002 Road King. <laughs> Now, the big question is, how could it possibly have four years of bikes? Well, it wasn't a Road King when it started out. Um, this uh, um, this bike was actually um, built by a buddy of mine named Jeff, and uh, it has 103 cubic inch uh, Screaming Eagle heads. Um, it's the big-ass highway cruising twin cam. And let me tell you, this baby will fat, flat get out and stand up on its rear wheel on the highway. This is a highway cruising bike. I love it. Lots of power. Yes, it is carbureted with a 48-millimeter 48, 48 Makuni on there. It has fishtails, and I love it, man. This bike is so much fun. Oh, trash is sleeping. Okay, go to the next shot. See, he's still sleeping. God, this is the this is it. This is the rear end of the bike where I put all these trucker lights on the back. If you see, you can see them underneath the. Uh, to replace the burned out bulb. Not yet. I'm still looking. And for I wasn't results. sleeping. That was not snoring. I was growling. Mm. I was making a social comment mm. on the relative effectiveness of twin and games? quality of my cutie carburetor. Well, I next, know. but it was on there. Go yeah. ahead to the next shot. Now this, this you guys might like. Um, this is the dreaded pan shovel, man. This is Frankenstein right here. This is a 1977 FX frame with a five-speed transmission wallered out with a wood rasp on a die grinder. And I got it to fit in the frame. Um, this is an actual 64 um, bottom end with mid-70s uh, top end shovel and a dual Del Ordo on a Riviera intake. This will be my daily rider next spring. I'm changing out the handlebars on it. You see it's got those drag bars on there, high-rise drag bars on there. This front end was impossible to control. Um, it was just like, you know, it just wasn't happy around the corners. So I put some 18-inch uh, L.A. Chopper Z bars on there, and now it's way happier. Go ahead to the next shot of this Gee, bike. Gee, Warren, is the frame altered on that motorcycle? Oh, what do you think? Now, this is a real, this, this for, for those of you out there who are not familiar with this type of operation, this is an actual chopper. This is a 77 frame that's been cut. And str and just had the neck stretched out. We think it's at about I don't know. I didn't actually fifty do degrees. Fifty degrees. It's out there, man. It's out there. Good Lord, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I rode this motorcycle at Anchor Hugh, <laughs> and I'm telling you, I am no stranger to radical front ends. But you know, I, this one and then one that our friend, uh, that our good friend Toga built. Yep. Were, were comparable in how yep. they handled, yep. which was yep. if you're not going uh, 90 miles an hour with your hair on fire straight down the highway, they don't handle. Well, so they, you've got to make some modifications in order to make them. Well, to make some, them of, handle, some yeah. of the things we've done to modify, go ahead and put this picture. The, of the handlebars for so, one. Well, yeah. the handlebars are the one. Give me something to hang on to. And the other thing is, is uh, rake the trees three degrees, which gave it a little more trail or something. I don't know, but it's a little happier now that it has three degree trees on it than just trying to use those, uh, trying to use the, you know, the straight trees on there with a whole bunch of fork on the front end. You can see that this is actually a five-speed transmission in the back with a hydraulic clutch on it uh, running a three-inch open belt made it up to a pan head. It's pretty unusual yeah. in terms of the in terms of the stuff that's been used to put this bike together. Um, and I, in a lot of ways, the reason it's Frankenstein, it's got every kind of year you can possibly oh, imagine from front to the back on it. You can hit everything from 1964 to 1999 in terms of parts on this bike. And let me tell you this: it runs like a scalded dog. It man. does. It does, man. This thing makes good noise. Dual it downdraft Del Ordos. No, Are you kidding well, me? That's next. That's good next. Lord. Let's go to the next shot. This is dual downdraft.